The genesis of our company really is, is, is software services and accessories and 3PL. And of course tech support. What's it that you guys do in that space and as far as the tech support side and what does that actually look like uh, you know, as a service from you guys? Connected Home is really a whole bunch of different devices that need to all work together. We interface directly with the end user to make sure that that scenario works as well as possible for them. We're there to make sure that the end, uh, the end user at the end of the day is you know, happy with their purchase. a ton of news that comes out of prime time uh, you know every six months we get new vendors new products new announcements all sorts of stuff but uh that right there was the voice of chris carey uh ceo of tech smart usa uh, a new vendor a new name to prime time this year in houston or uh, you know this past february in houston um and and chris and tech smart uh, are a, a vendor uh, a company really um you know that brings a lot to the table and, and had one of the more exciting, I think, announcements to come out of prime time. Um, that being, you know, we, we've got this whole story right around the, the connected home and, and um, all these offerings and, and things that are, are being made available to members. But, uh, you know, every that all all of those things and not to discount them in any way, but all of those things are, are related to what happens before the sale, you know, getting consumers interested in product, uh, educated around product and um, giving our re our members the opportunity to sell those products, uh, those products, you know, whether it's doorbells and and hubs and Wi-Fi routers, all that sort of stuff, light bulbs that that are connected and all that great content and and you know great all those great devices. But what happens when the consumer goes home, installs them, and now what? Something goes wrong. Um, who are they turning to? Well, TechSmart USA brings to the table uh, a a great opportunity to sort of develop that relationship post sale with the customer. And, um, you know, they, they've got a new program that, that they're working with, uh, with nationwide for our members. And I had the opportunity while, while Chris was there at his first prime time in Houston to sit down and talk with them, you know, about what those offerings look like, uh, what the opportunities are with tech smart, um, and you know, what, how it's going to benefit retailers and our members. So, um, really a lot to learn, a lot to dive into. They've got some great things going on. So uh, let's just go ahead and uh, dive into this conversation with Chris Carey of TechSmart USA. All right, we're back on the Independent Thinking Podcast live from primetime in Houston. And right now, uh, sitting here with Chris Carey, uh, appreciate CEO of TechSmart USA. Chris, appreciate you. You're only a couple steps away, I so I didn't drag steps, you. Yes, didn't thank drag you for you having far, me. But, uh, <laughs> I'm the neighbor, so yes. <laughs> well, but appreciate you stepping away for a little bit and, and chatting with us and uh, joining us on the podcast. And thanks for having us. So, tech, we've we've talked a bunch with uh, some of the nationwide team this week about, and you know, with the members as well about uh, TechSmart and a, a new partnership with Nationwide. So, before we dive into the partnership, um, tell us a, a little bit about your company and, and the history of it, and kind of where you guys got to. Where, how you guys got to where you are today? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, the genesis of our company really is, is is software services and accessories and 3PL, and we do that for a lot of the TV shopping networks right now. Uh, and so, and that's really where you know some of our connections came from. Uh, software is you know something that can add value. Uh, accessories, you know, like our hard shells and our laptop and wave, and wave stands are great things to add value to devices. And of course, tech support. You know, and that's really why we're here is to help out uh, you know users in the connected home space to become familiar with you know the devices and, and make sure there's no issues. Keep the returns at bay and make sure that you know uh, the the dealers have no issues you know getting them out to the users. And it's that last point that, that you hit on that I know has at least one nationwide, uh, you know, uh, person here, one exec, Derek Madela, pretty pretty fired up. Yes. So, uh, the, this tech this tech support side of things, and uh, you know, Derek, uh, for those who know him, is the VP of connected the connected home division here mm -hmm. at Nationwide, and uh, you know, he this connected home space has really done a lot, um, you know, to the especially independent retail channels, say retail channel in general, but independent retailers. Uh, offered them an opportunity to kind of continue that relationship with the customer after the fact, after the sale, and um, you know what what's it that you guys do in that space, and as far as the tech support side, and what does that actually look like, 
uh, you know, as a service from you guys? Yeah, so I mean, we're there to make sure that the end uh, the end user at the end of the day is you know happy with their purchase. You know, connected home is uh, really a whole bunch of different devices that need to all work together, and it starts with you know your your Google Home or your you know your your uh, you know smart lights or whatever that is, and they all have to talk to each other one way or another. And so we you know interface directly with the end user to make sure that that. Uh, that scenario works as well as possible for them. Uh, and we also do the tech support for the computer and the Android or iOS device in the home as well too, because everything's all part of that ecosystem, right? Right, right. Uh, and if you're a home user, you may not be familiar with all those things. And even if you're a reseller, I mean, that there is kind of a, a, a little bit larger burden to learn everything that is in there. So that's where we are, we, we're out to help out with uh, all of that and try to make that uh, easier. And, and, and there's sort of that brand agnostic aspect of this, right? Because right. it doesn't, you know, kind of the connected home has, if you wanted to be a, a one brand type of person, the connected home is really not the space for, for no, you. No, no. It's, it's impossible to try to stick to, to that one brand. There's so many options out there. Um, that's that's not a hurdle for you guys. It's not a hurdle. We're familiar with just about every platform that's out there, and uh, every day there's some new flavor or something you know being released. You know, and, and it's re being released at you know the billion dollar you know uh, probably in, in the months every every month it's a billion dollar opportunity out there, you know, to to grow that space. So that, that's unbelievable. So, um, you know, with the the retailer for nationwide that that is interested in something like this, uh, what's the the pitch to them. How are you presenting this to them uh, as something that you know they they need to think about if they aren't already? Well, the main pitch to them is uh, you know if they're having problems getting the margin story of, of their connected home you know uh, area you know tweaked, uh, adding a thirty six dollar you know three year tech support with you know over one hundred ninety nine dollars of retail value can really help you hit your margin uh, category. Uh, and your your uh, if you want to try and uh, uh, help out the consumer, add value at the same time, and uh, make it a, a nice uh, story for your device that nobody else has, that nobody else can shop. You know, you can't go down to your local big box retailer and find this, you know, as associated with another device, right? So you are unshoppable, uh, you add retail value, you take a lot of the risk and a lot of the, the pain out of your you know, selling situation. So then turn it uh, around a little bit. You know, that's the pitch to, to the members that are here, you know, uh, inter engaging with you at primetime. So what's their pitch then? How do they pitch it to, to the consumer? Is this something that they, that they would then pitch oh, to yeah, the consumer? Absolutely, because yeah. this is a really a big fear touch point for people in the smart home space. People don't know how to get all these things integrated, you know, and yeah. uh, it, is, it is a little bit more difficult because there's not a GUI for every single thing that's out there. Uh, so touching Expl and feeling Explain it. that for a second. So, so this is a new space to a lot of people, right? So, right. You know, sitting here, I have that CE background. What, what people are thinking GUI, what is the stickiness? Or like right, some kind yeah. of sticky material, what's a GUI? So a GUI is, is a user interface, uh, you know, buttons to t touch. You know, if yep. you look at your, your smart home devices, typically there's maybe one button, right? Yeah. Or two. Yep. And so you have to set those up through your smartphone, through apps, through your PC, yep. through whatever other device you have to do that with. And so being able to not be able to touch it, feel it, and be able to, uh, you know, uh, set it up as easy as that, right? Uh, and then he had to connect all those devices. There's a fear component to it. Right. But there, every household in the United States right now wants to be able to say, you know, hey Google, turn on my lights. You know, they they Careful, want. Careful, we're in a we're in a trade show. You I might know we might just activate a lot of things here. Yes, <laughs> you know, but every everybody wants that. Yeah. They want their and what they do is they usually set it up in their living room and yeah. then they go, wow, now I need this in my bedroom. I want this in my bathroom. I want this in, right. in the rest of my home. I want my lights to turn on when I come in the in the driveway, and I want to make sure that my my family has all these convenient item, uh, convenience items for the home right. and so it starts there people are spending lots of money and you know the great thing about it is they're coming back to the real retailers over and over again because once they get it there they're good mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you know it's it's gonna be about growing the rooms in the house for that connected home you know environment right right and uh, you know the um, something that is, is interesting in, in you know we, we've talked about a, a little bit here um, this week, uh, you know, with Derek and a couple of the other guys, um, is that, you know, from the the tech support side of things, there, there's a, a huge opportunity that that's being presented right now. In particular, this this year 2020 has been kind of pegged mm -hmm. for a long time now as, as the year that something like 5G is going to become available, and that, you know, is something that 
the first thing that comes to mind, you know, sitting here with a, a smartphone, yeah, that's that's the big side of things, but also in-home is going to be a, another side right. where this has an impact. You know, Wi-Fi routers are going to have to be upgraded. So right. you talk about being able to take advantage of an opportunity with a program right away. Right. Um, you know, are, you, are, you, are you ready for the amount of calls you, your team might be getting here yeah. <laughs> you know, for tech support with, you know, what's to come with 5G? Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, it's uh, we're very, very scalable, and we're we're based in the United States. You know, we, yeah. we have we, we're in Michigan. We can touch this feel feel that we can hire people on uh, as that that goes. Uh, but really, we're already staffed up for you know our TV shopping networks, which are really you know fourth quarter to you know, type of situations, right? Yeah. And so yep. when you get into first, second, third quarter, you know we've got the bandwidth to do you know pretty much anything. And on top of that, you, you hit the nail on the head with all those devices being changed out, all those Wi-Fi passwords that have to right. be you know. Right. Tweaked not, and you know, not just the routers. I think we we were talking at the numbers, something like twenty some devices by the end of this year, on average, in a home are connected to a router. So right. think about all those passwords you absolutely forgot. Yeah, uh, you're gonna have to reconfigure them on a new router. Type in pa you know password, e email, username, all that sort of stuff, and. Right. It, it's, it sounds like a nightmare. I'm scared for it. It is. <laughs> so. it, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of time too yeah. to get it. Because you, if you're not familiar with all the back ends and how to set all those things up, yeah. right, you're going to just kind of drag yourself through that and you have to Google your way through <laughs> it and, 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 and try to figure out you know, what that is. And, and that means that the resellers are going to have to do that too. And so, you know, that's where the where Derek's dream is is really to, you know, uh, make sure that reseller doesn't get burdened by that. Everybody's going to have this, right? And there's no way you can avoid this connected space. So, if we're going to do it, let's do it really really well, be ahead of the the curve, and then on top of that, let's make some money, right? And then let's make the consumer experience the very best it can be at the end of the day. You you kind of mentioned it, um, you know, in that this is a when you were talking about scale, just how you guys are ready, you know, what, for someone that might have fear about you know, calling a thing a, a service like this and getting it connected with someone that they aren't confident, you, know, you just off the bat, you think of other call services and things like that. Just confidence level might start out low. So, right. what, what's what's done at TechSmart USA? Like, how are you guys working with those those expert technicians and making sure that they're up to snuff? And, and what's that process like to make sure they are are able to, to, to be a uh, TechSmart USA uh, expert technician. Yeah, well, I mean, that's really uh, where our sweet spot is. It, it starts with personality, right? Mm -hmm. You have to have a personality to want to talk to people. You know, if, if customer service, I mean, because there's a lot of customer service areas that you know, people just don't want to do it, right? Yeah. Or yeah. they're in another country or whatever, right. and then you get, or, or they're not set up to actually want to t take care of people's issues. Our team is kind of handpicked from those people who really want to help. They are enthusiasts in everything that they touch and do. When I say, hey, we're going to bring in smart refrigerators, people's eyes light up and they're excited, right? Awesome. They want to touch the new latest technology so you, and they want to help. You guys are getting hands-on experience with this stuff. Right, so I mean, yeah. they're, they're touching it every single day and yeah. they love it, right? And so it's, it really comes from passion, being able to help out That's users awesome. and, and really be ahead of the curve and help people out. And then of course, we uh, on the other side of it, we have to be educated, right? So there's a constant training that we're going through, looking at new devices. We're going to trade shows all the time. We're going and we're testing each one of the technicians to make sure that they know what they're you know, talking about. And, and then we make sure that the the you know the ratings for each one of the technicians are, are really really high, you know. And I, there there are times when you know a technician will have a birthday or whatever they'll get birthday uh, gifts delivered to our <laughs> office space. Yeah, I oh. don't. That nobody does that for me. But uh, they are so well loved that they have Tech such Smart great USA, relationships. Uh, staff, if you're listening. Yes, <laughs> yes, those guys over there they are uh, treated really really well. So oh, they love what they do, awesome. and that's really the the secret to the success. So what what's innovation for a company like TechSmart? What do you doing to, to keep yourself uh, fresh and, and you know, future-proof in a sense? Well, I mean, we have a lot of different aspects for our company, uh, and I'm, you know, we'd mentioned the wave stand, which is that you know, kind of bendable stand type yep. thing. You know, it's where I'm a serial entrepreneur. There are, I, I, I would not be able to sit by, back and just say, well, let's just do tech support, right? Yeah. We want to explore technology as much because we are uh, enthusiasts about what we do. You know, taking something like a wave stand or iPad case, you know, offering that to, to users. The other thing that we do is we license software and we create software. So we want to be on the cutting edge to say, okay, well, uh, your your computer is running slow right now because you have malware. Hey, let's build the best malware program we can we can build, or let's go license software and actually include that with the devices. So it is a constant challenge, you know, and and really getting back to it, software, services, accessories, and, and 3PL. Yeah. 
you know, making sure that the, the, there's a value story and something new you can do with your device, right? Yeah. It, why buy it if there's nothing you can do that's new? Right, you know? absolutely. Uh, if adding accessories that you've never seen before, why would you want to go get the same case? I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, like we've, we've shown off some of the different cases we have here and like the mouths drop every time they see them, right? <laughs> you're like, wow, you're doing that. That's amazing, <laughs> right? This little company in Michigan, you know? It's, That's pretty cool, so, pretty cool. And, you know, you're here at primetime. First primetime? First primetime, prime yeah. Time. How, what's it been like for you? Um, and, and more importantly, maybe, what type of feedback have you heard from the members that have come by and uh, interacted with you and engaged with you here? Well, you know, we, I can't say anything, uh, you know, bad at all about this experience. This has been a great experience for us. It's like, you know, uh, there's a lot of people that we know here already, right? <laughs> so it's kind of, you know, hanging out with your best friends and, you know, this has happened to be your business, you know, uh, you know, partners and, 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 and friends, that sort of thing. So, I mean, for, for us, there was a, a kind of a, a low bar to get over. It is a different experience from what, you know, a CES sure. booth would yeah, be absolutely. or, you know, um, you know, when you go to other shows, because you know the people that are here are more interested in, in making money and in you know it really fostering those relationships. Yeah. You know, and so yeah. uh, you know, shame on me for not being here sooner. <laughs> but uh, you know, it's uh, we're we're very blessed to be here. So no, that's awesome. And, and Chris, I appreciate you. You know, taking a few minutes and stepping away and chatting with us. And awesome to learn about you guys. I, like I said, it, it's one of the uh, the services. Not only Derek, but my myself, kind of seeing how this connected home space for Nationwide has come together and. And then, you know, they they had everything from the introduction into the, the you know, the research process of buying through to getting the, the products and, and helping members get the right product mix to now, you know, with TechSmart USA, there's there's this after sale, you know, a way to continue that relationship with the customer mm -hmm. and uh, something I know we're all we're all jazzed about. So yeah. it's uh, neat to get get to know you guys and uh, look forward to seeing you at future shows. So we'll be there. Appreciate it. So thanks for having us. <laughs>